So welcome to this video from explainingmaths.com um, about the loci from a point. Yeah? And, and in the previous video I've said we have four types of loci from a point, from a line, equidistance to two points and equidistance to two intersecting lines. Yeah? So make sure you've seen that video where you can check my site explainingmaths.com uh, where all my resources are nicely organized. But now, let's say I have a point, point A, okay? And what are the loci, um, what shall we do? Uh, four centimeters away from point A. So all the points four centimeters away from point A. Now, um, what could I do is, uh, yeah, I can take my, my ruler and I'll measure four centimeters. I would just say that one block is one centimeter. So then I say, well, uh, uh, one, two, three, so over here, is a point indeed four centimeters away from A. But loci are all the points fitting that description. All the points four centimeters away from point A. Yeah? So for instance, uh, here is also a point four centimeters away from A. Yeah, uh, But also over there and also over here is all four centimeters away. But also in between those points, I have all these points four centimeters away from A. So do I use my ruler to find the loci of the points four centimeters away from A? No, I don't. I am going to use my compass. Very good. So I am going to take my compass and I'm going to open it. Uh, and perhaps you want to use your ruler to do that. Open it on four centimeters, but I have square paper and I say each square is one centimeter. So I open it on four of those squares. And I'm going to draw that circle with a radius of four centimeters where A is the center, because on the circumference of that circle, those are the loci of points fitting my description, four centimeters away from A. Can you see that circle? Is that visible? I mean, let me just stand up. Yeah, I think that is visible for you. Yeah. So all the points on the circumference are four centimeters away from A. So the loci from a point you'll find using your um, compass, okay, with a radius in this case of four centimeter. Now, it could be, for instance, when you're an architect and designing a garden, that you have a fountain and you want to have, I don't know, some sort of uh, bush uh, four meters away from your fountain, yeah? Then the loci of the points, yeah, the architect will take his compass and he's going to construct this circle, yeah, with a radius of four centimeters or four meters, whatever the unit is, yeah. Four meters is going to be a little bit big with a compass, but okay, yeah, he's going to draw to scale. And that's how he's going to use his understanding of loci actually in real life, okay. All the points on the circumference are four centimeters away from point A. Good. Uh, like and share if this was useful to you, then I can help your friends too. Check my site, explainingmaths.com, where you'll find all my resources nicely organized. We are now going to have a look in the next video at loci from a line as opposed to loci from a point. I'll see you then. Bye-bye.